see I'm sitting down, right? Then you can attack him when you want. Right? You just try to get up and take off, right? Let's go slow because I'm still sick, right? Let's go really slow. You come in, I basically hit you. Right? If you get close, you can do stuff like that. Or if you don't want to really get up, you can hit me here to here. You can pull along here, right? Or there's so much you can do from here. You can take the leg, right? You can get the ankle, right? <laughs> so, you're a big guy, so if I try to force you down, it's not going to work now. So it's kind of like, push hands, you know? It looks like I'm touching your hand, but I want to be able to feel your spine. The same thing here, instead of forcing your leg, which is not going to work, I feel your spine through your legs, right? Yeah. Now it's easy, right? Tap and move, right? You can also move the guy another way, from here, move this way, right? Yeah. Now you have it. You can do a lot of techniques, but the thing is, if you're not aware, if you're sitting down texting or talking to someone, he comes and punch. You're already hit, right? Man. If you are aware, you should be up and walking, right? You should be standing up to confront the guy, right? So this is kind of like a weird situation, you know? Which happens sometimes, right? Yeah, you talk to your friend and... Yeah. So from here, all these techniques I was doing, it's kind of good to know different techniques. But none of them will work if you messed up the first beat, right? If I screw up this punch, I'm already hit. So the most important thing is the first movement, right? And it all comes from the same move, though, the horse one. Right? This is really important. The follow-up is not that important, right? In the horse stance, the important thing is that from the waist up, you're relaxed. So you're not holding. That's why when you see people do a horse dance, sometimes their hands are here, 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 whatever. You're learning to release pressure from different angles. Right? You're not really confused. The thing is, say you're getting a horse dance. Right? Instead of holding it, relax from the waist up. Right? Yeah. And this is kind of counterintuitive, because we're taught to do like this. But you wouldn't build a building like this. You go to like this for strong foundation. So from the here up, you can relax. Not just physically, but emotionally. The more relaxed you are, you can get yourself to calm down and do like this, the faster you'll be. So again, the first technique I did when I came in like this, it's not really the punch doing it. If you're a big guy, if I hit you like this in a groin, great. If I miss, I'll just piss you off, right? But if I can relax and line up my bone through my back and out this arm, and I can move the guy, even though, because I got my whole weight going in, lining up to the ground, right? So from here, now these things don't make sense, right? Because you're just on the way up, right? If he covers, good. If he doesn't cover, and he stops me or something, he can back to the other techniques anyway, right? Does that kind of make sense? But the important thing is not to remember all these techniques, right? But to get your stance right. Because that's your takeoff point. When you're sitting down, you, you can bridge that distance. Right? Once he starts hitting you, now it's too late to do this. We both get hit. Right? So if he does hit you, right? You got to do something else. Now you're somewhere else, right? Some ideas. But the important thing is to get that first movement. But better is to see you got earlier and stand up. 